Well, David, football's a cruel sport and I don't believe you've got what you deserve today. <coughs> um, I would say we didn't help ourselves. We gave them two goals. And if you give a team in the playoffs two goals, who've had four clean sheets here in the last five games, it's going to be a tough, tough long afternoon. We, we shot ourselves in the foot. Did we deserve something out of the game, probably. Wasn't helped by the referee's performance. It was, you know, uh, shut and not keep your mouth shut. He's a part-time ref, it's not his fault. This is a full-time ref, he was a disgrace. Absolute disgrace. Not saying any more than that, because I'll get himself into trouble. He was a disgrace. Um, but we, you know, take the ref out of it. We've got to make sure that we are, we don't shoot ourselves in the foot. You know, we started off well. Um, you know, we've hit the post, we've had chances. Doug should have scored from a corner. We have Justin's, who was by far the best player. You know, he's excellent. Scored a good goal, deservedly so. You know, the third goal kills us. I'm not going to go into why the ref thinks that our play getting a cut eye by one of you know, throwing our lads getting shoved into the goalkeeper is not a foul, but anyway, and that's that finishes the game. But we've shot ourselves in the foot in the first instance. With their goals aside, we've had plenty of possession, yeah, yeah. chances, and, and this is a side that's going towards the top of the league. Yeah, but games are won in both boxes, and we weren't good enough in both boxes. So I appreciate that, you know, the, the line of questioning, but I also deal in sort of reality as well. And if we were better in both boxes, in respect to the referee's performance, we'd have been coming away with at least a point. Pretty similar then in, in that respect to last Saturday against a team who are in the top three. Yeah. Well, if you have Wrexham at home and Barrow away, it's a tough couple of games. You know, it ended our six match on beating run and we've got to get back on it. And it's got to start on Monday, Monday, uh, Monday lunchtime. Positives today, Charles Vernon looked really bright when he came on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, Char Charles is back, Rose is back, Arthur's, you know, hurt his knee, but we don't know how bad. Um, so, yeah, there's some greenies cut his eye, so we don't know if that's. We'll see how his obviously objective tests on the concussion, see what, what happens there. Um, we think he'll be alright. It's just, you know, there's a cut eye, but there might be rules. We don't know if there's rules to follow. The referee, when we asked him, then asked him at the end of the game, he didn't know, which is no surprise. <laughs> um, so, yeah, you know, we'll, we'll, we've got a couple back, but we, we might have lost one, possibly two. Do you look at these two games as they're not going to define the end of the season against against sides near the top of the league? No, but there are also opportunities to get more points on the board. You can't just go, ah, it's, it's Wrexham at home or it's Barrow away. You know, we've, we've got to be better here and pick up points. It's simple as that. And just a word for the fans, David. They've had uh, a long journey, treacherous conditions at times in that yeah. first half. People yeah. get soaked. Yeah, uh, and, 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 <laughs> yeah and, and they were tremendous, weren't they? they 400 were, up. They were unbelievable. That I don't wait for fans are the best in the league. We gotta shout it out. We gotta shout it out. You know, the way, the way they follow us, you know, the claps at the end. They can see that we're working hard, we've just gotta be a little bit better. And we hope that we, we, we yeah. reward them, you know, starting on Monday. And quick turnaround, dust ourselves down and go Monday. Yeah, of course, of course. That's the, the name of the game.